Hey, hey, good morning. And this morning you join me walking up to Bidian Nambith in Glencoe, carrying my skis in the hope that I can ski off the summit. Um, Bidian is the highest mountain in Glencoe and it's got a face on it, the north face, which is uh, known by skiers as paradise. I've skied it before, but it was a long time ago, probably 10 years ago with a friend Gareth and I haven't skied it since. So we'll go up and have a look. I've walked in from the car, beautiful view coming through uh, Glencoe over the river crossing. I'm just heading into the, uh, the Lost Valley um, and then up, up onto, uh, onto Bidian heading up uh, quite a nice ridge actually up onto the summit. Um, I was out uh, uh, two days ago, so it's the middle of March 2024 and, and uh, we've got a really nice uh, stable snowpack. I was out two days ago, it's really firm, really solid, so not good for skiing but it was fantastic for climbing, so Hugh and I had a good day's climbing. Um, and then yesterday temperatures rose, um, so if you had an unstable snowpack that would be a bad thing. Um, but it's a solid uh, snowpack, so the temperatures have risen and I'm hoping that's going to produce some nice spring snow for skiing. So uh, we also call it corn snow. Um, so I'm hoping that it will just be a bit more forgiving than the firm icy stuff we had over the weekend. And if it isn't and the plan doesn't work, and uh, I'll be walking down. So we'll head on up, we'll have a look, see how we get on. The other thing that I want to happen is I want those clouds to clear. And I'm not going to be skiing it if I can't see it. It's a cool place, isn't it? The, uh, the clans used to hide their cattle up here. Stop them getting stolen or rustled, I suppose, is the technical expression. And you can imagine it, can't you? This hidden valley full of tents and highland cattle and clansmen. It's like stepping back in time. So I have switched to my skis, got a little bit of snow up to the col. And I'm even getting a bit of sunshine. So it's starting to look good. So this won't be a Nikolai Schirmer style ski film. I learnt as an adult, so I came to skiing in my 20s simply because I wanted to go ski touring. It's just a lovely lovely way to travel through the mountains especially in the big mountains in the Alps or in northern Norway you can travel all day on skis put yourself in places you wouldn't be able to get to without them and then obviously you've got the fun of the descent but yes I'll be very much skiing steadily and in control. So that's paradise, that face up on my left up there. So it looks complete but rocky. So a bit of careful route finding on the way down. So I definitely want to be able to see it. Well, there we are, the summit. It's a bit breezy and a bit misty. Which is a real shame because it's a stunning summit if I could show it you properly. It's a proper tiny little snow cap summit.
So as you can see, I'm just having a sandwich, just tucked below the summit, waiting for the viz to improve. It's not too dissimilar to paragliding in many ways, a bit of waiting, waiting for the right snow, waiting for the right weather. The big difference is I can't get as far as I can flying. I have to walk quite a long way. I think I've, stats wise, I've done 1,064 meters of height now carrying my skis. Although I did have a short section skinning. And I'll probably get a couple hundred meters of descent. And I can carry them back out again. enjoyed it I hope you did thanks very much for watching see you next time